Okay, Stefan, um, how does it feel to have qualified for finals football? Yeah, of course, um, very good. I think at the start of the season, you set out to make the finals. Um, I believe we should have finished a little bit higher and that's probably similar to obviously Ross has just said, it's disappointing, but um, we believe we can beat anyone on the day and um, we're very confident going into the finals now. You mentioned that disappointment. Are you able to turn that disappointment to, to fuel to, to really push on and I guess uh, show what, what could have been achieved in the regular season now in the finals? Yeah, definitely. I think we've uh, we've beaten Sydney FC, we've beaten Melbourne City, who are the top two teams, and uh, we're very confident if we uh, get up against any team, we're going to be able to beat them on the day. So it's it's obviously ch it's more challenging. Sorry, um, you have to play the first final to get to a semi final, but you know we're more than happy to play, and um, going up to Brisbane is going to be a great game. You mainly think this has been one of the most entertaining seasons um, in, in the competition's history. Uh, why do you think that is? Yeah, definitely. I think probably more so the first half of the year, the games were a lot more open. Teams were, I guess, going uh, to win a lot more as the season went on. I think a lot more teams then started to try not to lose. And I think the whole time through for us, um, Adelaide United, we've always gone out to play good football and to, to attack and win games. And um, that's probably one of the main reasons why a lot of teams were open at the start of the season going forward. And as the season has gone on, um, you know, you're getting young players come through who are raw and, and willing to go out there and I guess show what they can do in, in other years you probably haven't had that and then having all, all teams quite close together makes every game mean something where in years gone by you've had your top six probably set, um, you've had your top two set, uh, where this season you know, it was up until the last round who was going to make the final six. Do you think the change from the first half of the season to the second is down to perhaps more of a congested fixture that we saw at the end of the, the season? Uh, a little bit. I think probably some teams, to be honest, watching um, went more defensive and tried not to lose games. I think as a player, I felt that out there it was uh, a lot more open at the start of the season. And then um, probably teams that didn't think they could play that style of football and win games went a little bit more defensive. Uh, and that's probably what's made games little, a little less scoring anyway. How impressed have you been with the emergence of young talent in, in the squad? Obviously, you've sat with your boy. And how impressed have you been with the young boys that are coming through? Yeah, it's been great. I think, you know, every, every season always brings on one or two players normally that you didn't expect to play games. And this season's probably had a, a whole lot more due to the congested fixtures and, and also, I guess, squads not having the depth in years gone by. But it gives great opportunity for them to show what they can do. And um, I think back to when I was a young player and I, I always believed that I could play at the level. And um, sometimes it took a little bit longer to get there due to obviously there being probably more experienced players around. And now that you don't have that, you have to give young players an opportunity and, and they've shown that they can, uh, they can perform. And it's now just about becoming more consistent and um, I guess taking that opportunity weekly. What have been some of your uh, standout moments from you know, a personal perspective, or, but also uh, as a team as well? Uh, I, I think when we, uh, we went on that run of winning, I think it was six or seven, I can't remember now. Um, that was the best moment in the season when we were playing our best football. Everybody, I think, individually was playing really good and um, you, know, you go out there to win games and that's when you enjoy it the most. Um, for me, scoring, scoring goals and um, that's a personal thing that's really good. But I think from a team perspective then also, which is a personal one, it was seeing young players like Cassini. Um, he had a tough time in pre-season. I think he learned a, a few hard lessons, um, but to see him bounce back the way he did was really impressive. Um, he easily could have probably um, gone the other way and, uh, and not put in the work, but he did. And, and now you've seen when he plays, he's a, he's a very dangerous player and he's got all the attributes to be a top, top striker. So it's been really rewarding. Um, I guess as the, the leader of um, the playing group to, to see someone like that buy into what we're doing and, um, and get what he deserved. What kind of impact has Carl made in his first full season as a, as a head coach? I think he's, uh, he's done extremely well. You know, we've, uh, we've made the finals um, and we could have finished a lot higher like I touched on, but I think his calming effect um, throughout the week, obviously on game days, he's a, a little bit more aggressive, but um, I think just giving everyone the, the freedom to go out there and perform and play at their best, and he gives you that belief that you know he trusts you, um, and you know we're obviously good enough to be professional footballers and go out there and perform on, on match day. But he, um, yeah, I think he backs it up by giving players the chance, and uh, and I think that's a powerful thing from a coach. Once he he gives players belief, you see that they um, they grow a little bit. You were part of the club when the next Australian fixture was essentially cracked in 2016. Can you feel any? Yeah, I think it's um, obviously we're, we're a very successful squad. We're winning a lot of games and um, probably the most I would say resembled that was when we're in that winning patch, the same feeling that comes around with winning. Um, 
you know, that belief and that confidence within the group. And uh, I don't want to compare the two squads. I don't think you really need to, but we definitely have enough quality um, on the field to do that. And I think the togetherness that we have as a group is going to hold us in good stead for these finals games because there's going to be tough moments um, and we're going to stick together. And I think that's a really powerful thing for us to be united. Yeah, I, I think they're obviously a good team. They've made the finals and they've been um, a pretty uh, solid team. I think that you know that they're going to work hard and, um, and be very well organised. Um, but you know we're obviously going to be focusing us this week, and we know that we're um, more than capable to, I guess, to beat them as we showed when we were here. And, and we just need to make sure that we're on top of our game and, and everyone's um, understanding of the game plan, and we'll, and we'll have no problems.